John, I wish I hadn't done that. My diet's going to go for a chop. Weather-wise, I think we're going to have a good deal of rain around for much of the coming week, but hopefully not as much as has been just recently in Sicily. They've had about 14 inches there in the last day or so. That's really enough to come over the top of the wellies. And we're going to have a lot of heavy rain in this country too. That particular weather front still around. It's going to reactivate, I think, during the course of tonight and tomorrow. A band of cloudy notice across the north of the country. Well broken cloud further south. But I must give you a weather watch, especially for Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern parts of England. And it will become very wet indeed later today through tonight and into a good part of tomorrow, even into parts of Tuesday as well. So at the moment, we're going to find the north of Scotland bright with a few showers, a good deal of bright sunny weather in the south too, but through Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, Northern Ireland, a good deal of cloud. The rain's eased down a little bit now, but it is going to pep up again, I think, as we go along into the latter part of the day. One or two thundery showers perhaps breaking out too a little bit further south. It is going to be warm and sticky in, su sticky in southern parts, 25, 26 degrees. Of course, in the cloud and rain further north, just the opposite, quite cool. Now, in a very short time, we've got the Global Challenge underway, leaving from Southampton. Unfortunately, very little wind around, and there is some fog in the channel as well. Now, during tonight, we're going to keep all this rain going over Northern Ireland and much of Scotland, except for the far north, even some thundery outbreaks further south. But for central and southern areas, it's going to be a misty, murky night with some patches of fog and quite warm in most places. The low pressure there tomorrow, it's going to give a really wet day in many of those northern areas, some quite heavy and persistent rain. And one or two thundery showers breaking out further south too as those temperatures soar. A pretty hot, sticky day yet again. The low continues to develop but moves away on Tuesday. But even into Tuesday, in many of these eastern parts, it's going to keep uh, quite cool and cloudy with further outbreaks of rain. But in the more western and southern areas, brightening up after a foggy start, but there will be one or two showers perhaps breaking out during the course of the afternoon. Then it begins to change. On Wednesday, we lose the ridge of high pressure, so we start off fine and dry again with some mist and fog. But later on in the day, some uh, wet weather beginning to move in from the west. And those fronts then continue to move across the country during Thursday and indeed into Friday. So again, although it may be starting off bright in the east, we're going to find showers or longer outbreaks of rain in most parts in the latter part of the week.